School when I was about five was amazing because I was absolutely top of every class. Well, top of my class. And I was reading in front of people and I thought of myself as being unbelievably intelligent. Um, and then when I was six, they realized that I hadn't been reading at all and that my mum read to me all the time. We had lots of books at home and I'd memorized them. And it was only when somebody finally gave me a book that my mum hadn't read me that they realized that I hadn't been reading at all and couldn't read at all. So when I was six, I went from being the top of the class to the absolute bottom of the class. And I still remember what a shock that was. Um, and I still remember how I saw myself completely differently from that moment. Um, I was really, really lucky. I was at a brilliant state primary school. Um, and also my brother had been there before and he'd been diagnosed with dyslexia, so they'd already dealt with him. Um, and the teachers there said to my parents, you need to find a carrot to dangle in front of Kira. There's no reason that she shouldn't be able to read and there's no reason that she shouldn't be able to you know, do well at school, but you need to find a carrot. And really fortunately for me, I wanted to act. So it was my head teacher, who was a brilliant man called David Cooper, who said to my mum, if she wants to act, then you let her act, but she's only allowed to do it if her grades either stay the same or go up. If she drops a grade, then you take the carrot away. I think I've always been very creative. You know, I was always, it was art, it was drama, it was music. Um, I was always very good at creative writing. Um, I was top of those classes, it's just that my spelling was awful. Again, the teachers that I had recognised how important it was that I knew that the points that I was making and the pieces of creative writing, the stories that I were telling, were great and were valid and were interesting, and that they gave me a mark for that. And that the, the spelling and the punctuation was entirely different. Because when you split them up, you're not saying, you're, inte you're not intelligent enough. What you're saying is, hey, you're not very good at this bit, and that's fine, that's fine. Deal with that bit, but well done, because that was a great story. Because actually, you know, confidence is the most important thing, and if you tell a child that they're not good at something, and you tell a child that they're stupid, then they'll feel like they are. Um, and, and so I think it's really important to say you're not stupid. Um, your brain simply works differently than other people and you can find different ways around it and you'll be good at other things. You may not be a brilliant speller, you may not be a very fast reader, but you will learn how to read and you will learn as much spelling as you need to, you know, um, but you'll be better at different things and I think that's unbelievably important to know as a kid. My spelling makes people laugh. It makes me laugh, actually, and my reading, if I'm sight reading, oh, it's, it's a complete joke. I mean, I'll make, it, it'll mean something else completely it won't make any, any sense at all. Which, you know, for what I do for a living was quite difficult because if you give me a page of dialogue now, I can just about do it, but, but I mean, it jumps about and, you know, it takes me a while. I really need to learn it, I need to sit with it. I always have to say, you cannot give me a rewritten scene on the day and think that I'm gonna be able to perform it well. If you give me a, re a rewritten scene the day before and I have a night to work on it, I will be able to do it well. I think I was really lucky that it was diagnosed when I was six. So that early diagnosis was key to absolutely everything. Um, so I think probably because of my dyslexia, my work ethic has always been really high, you know. Um, I think it's vital that teachers are trained about dyslexics, uh, about dyslexia, about, about spotting it, and about working with dyslexic kids. It's absolutely vital. Because the world is changing and, uh, and imagination is key to everything and there's gonna be a lot of kids whose potential are lost unless we train our teachers to effectively teach them.